Hey everyone. So in my previous videos, you would have seen how I always mention about the number of offers I cracked, number of interviews I get, how I got this much rating on lead code, and all the success stories which have created videos on this, and also uh, the failure stories which have created videos on this, right? But based on the experience that I gathered, I never or I barely talked about the struggle behind it or the journey about it, right? Which I think most of the people are not aware of, but it can help them in any way. It would have helped me in some ways. So this is where this video comes into picture. This is going to be uh, a rejected series, right? So what I'm going to uh, discuss in this series is going to be very crisp, raw emotions. I'm not going to edit or plan this videos. This is going to be me talking of different things that I want to talk in all the videos, right? So whenever, whether we are in college or when we want to make a switch to better company, right? The first thing that comes in is the excitement that what I used to have, I used to have a thought that, okay, if I can work at that company, if I would see someone working at a like a good company or a company that is better than my company, right? The company that I'm currently working at, it always used to excite me that, okay, maybe one day I will also work at that XYZ company, right? And then there is a long path to achieve that, right? So first you get excited. You think about, okay, I'll update my LinkedIn with a new job. You think that, okay, I will get a new project and get a better pay, all of those, right? So the excitement kicks in, whether you are in college or whether you see someone after two years of work experience, right? But immediately with me, what used to happen is, so the excitement part is the first thing, right? Which we all get excited. But the second thing that kicks in is the fear, right? The fear of getting rejected. So the first thing is the fear of preparation also, right? How much DSA I have to do, how much lead code I have to do, and how much system design I have to do if you are ex more experienced, right? These kind of things kick in. So like what I used to do is I used to get excited for one or two weeks and then start lead code and then the fear kicks in because some days you will not be able to solve a lead code hard problem or you will not be able to solve uh, you will not be able to perform good in lead code contest or you will fail some interviews, right? Whether you got asked a different question or you got asked, let's say, a hard question or a question that you are not able to solve in that time frame, right? These all things happens with people who are trying, basically, right? And then this is the two thoughts. So basically now, basically, I personally have spent more than six months in these two thoughts. The first thought where I would see that, okay, someone has cracked this company, that company, and then the fear of me not cracking that company or this company, always confused in these two thoughts. And then I would give up after, let's say not even give up, I would like stop solving, which is ideally giving up only, right, in a sense. With this video, my purpose is to tell that you are not alone. Like two years back, I was at the same stage thousands of people who ever have cracked the company or who are on their way to crack any company, right? Or who are kind of working hard, not giving up on themselves. They are not alone. You are not alone if you're watching this video. The aim should be to always be consistent, right? And by consistency, it doesn't mean that, that you have to code every day, right? You can take one day break, right? Just like you go to gym for, let's say you go to gym for one week, right? If you take break for one day, two days, that is okay. But don't let it happen for more than two days, right? If you take three, four days break, then it kind of breaks your flow. But one day break, either when you are doing DS or when you are learning system design is okay. But you are not alone. I personally have received more than 1000 rejections. The first episode which I'm going to, which I just explain is the thought. The thought of making switch, right? The thought of fear, the thought of excitement. If you also feel all of these emotions, the emotions that I felt when like two years back, because I've been prepping from 2023, right? So these offers, if I have to give you some timeline. So I've always talked about the offers, but I've been prepping from, I've been thinking, I've been in this state from last two years, from 2021 or even 2020 when I was in college. I always had in my mind that I had to crack these companies, but the when and how, was never known right but then for one or two years i just prepped i never gave interview i just prepped 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 if i'm not able to solve a lead code hard that day or a medium hard then i would get sad and then eventually give up right but if you are in this stage if you are currently having that thought 
my one piece of advice for this to end this episode as i want to keep this short and crisp is to not let that thought die right keeping that thought is alive see this excitement should always be there so if i have to summarize this let's use just this so this has to be there always and this has to go away drop the fear keep the excitement right so with that i'll end this episode this is this series is going to be more like netflix netflix series as that i imagine of so that i can give my raw emotions raw things that i felt through and eventually if anyone is inspired by videos based on the comments that i get they can learn and they can also believe that they can also do this right it's i'm i'm just one of you guys with that have a nice day keep working hard don't let the thought die right with that i'll end this episode stay tuned for the next step the journey is going to be from this thought till the offer bye